This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Nabinia. Welcome back to Nabinia Automation Labs. So in this particular video, I'm going to explain that. Let's see how to write your first basic login script, right? Whenever there is a login page. So how do you design a login page and uh, how do you write the methods, how do you define the locators and how will you set the values and how will you clear the values also? So today I'll tell you how to set the value, how to clear the value for a particular login page. And uh, you can get a login page. And then how will you get the value also when we enter a value in a particular text field, right? In Selenium, we have dot get attribute value attribute we have to pass. And here also something like this, we will do that. We will have a method get value method is available, right? So how will you clear it and then uh, and how will you get the value also that also we will check so how to do that for doing this let's see i'll pick this particular application where you have to enter this particular url uh heroku app.com and uh, login slash login so you will see this particular login page you can pick any application guys that doesn't matter you should have a proper login page that's it so i'm going to create a login page uh file over here inside the page create a new file and now I'm going to create that is my login page dot JavaScript. And this is my class that class quickly I'll create login page. Okay. And then I'll be writing that simple module dot exports is equal to new login page object. Okay. And here quickly first what I'm going to do that I'm going to create one getter for the username field. So username and i simply write right over here that return what do you want to return so this is the id is available so i'll be using directly <coughs> okay i'll be using id over here so in the same line i'm writing username same thing i'll be writing for the password <coughs> sorry <coughs> Okay, so let's see the password is password over here. And one second, return a dollar. Okay, return T U R L. Okay, okay, perfect. So these two locators, let's see, I have created, and I'll create one more locator for this particular login where directly button is available. So you can directly write that uh, something like this, get login button and return what? This is a button directly and pass the HTML tag. Okay, we have only one HTML tag, button directly I can pass the tag name. Okay, now I'll be creating three methods. One is quickly and write that uh, you have to enter your username and we have to pass a text over here so one function i'll be creating and then i'll be using my locator this dot username dot okay set value we have to use it but before that i simply check that wait for <clears throat> display method i'll be using wait for this particular variable i mean for this particular element username dot set value and whatever the value that you are passing the text function i mean the text variable i'll be passing over here simple same thing i'll be creating one more method for password so i simply write this time enter password and instead of username i'll be using password over here same thing wait for the split and set the value and then i'll be writing that click on login so how will you click on it? So simple, first I'll be using this dot login button dot wait for display and this dot login button dot click. Okay, simple, click on it. So let's see these three methods I have created and uh, let me remove these spaces. Perfect. Okay, now uh, I'll be creating one, one test file to write the test so i'll go to my test package test folder and then i'll simply write let's see this is my login dot 
page dot okay, dot js or login i send this right test dot js and here first thing what we have to do we have to import so i send right it's a constant this is my login page variable is equal to now we have to use require and require what sorry require dot dot slash from the pages okay slash login page okay so this is the login page that we have written then i'll be writing one describe and in the describe i simply write let's see um handle login okay application login something like this comma function like this and here i'll be <clears throat> i'll be writing different it blocks so my first it block is that uh, quickly i want to write that uh, double quotes i simply write enter username okay comma function and uh, this is the thing so how we do that so first we have to launch the url so i simply write sorry browser dot url so what is the url so url i'll be using the same way that i've already explained you so you can enter this particular url or you can directly get from the base url also so base url we have already defined over here you can see that my base url is somewhere here okay this is my base url right <coughs> but in the base url we don't have login so first i'll pick the base url that i have already shown you in the previous video i simply write it like this uh dollar okay bracket and then i'll be writing browser dot options dot base url okay browser dot options dot base url and then i'll be appending slash with login like this okay so my url will be launched after that you have to write login page we have to enter the url login page dot what we have to do login page dot <clears throat> enter the username right we have to enter the username what is the username so let's see this guy is saying that you can pick this enter tom smith for the username so i'll just pick this tom smith and enter this particular guy okay and the username like this that's it and then i'm going to write one assertion i simply write assert dot equal okay i want to check that okay whatever the value that you have entered the same value entered or not right so i simply write it should be equal to tom smith comma whatever the login page that you have dot the username element that you have created and then here you have to use get value instead of get text you have to use get value over here okay so remember get text method we have to use whenever there is a link there is a label there is a text is available or there is a span is available get value means get the value from the text area and the input fields right so this is a get value we will get it and then we will compare with tom smith same thing i'll be writing for the password enter password let's see password is the super secret password whatever and then it should be equal to this okay so the login url we have already launched so no need to write the browser.url once again now i'll be writing let's see click login button and uh, this time okay for here also we have to change instead of enter username we have to use enter password <coughs> And here we have to use password field okay so be careful and uh, here we don't need all these guys so i simply write my oops, sorry my login page dot what 
we have to click on login button. So this is my click on login button. Okay, click on login button like this. Now whatever the method that we have created, this click on login method, which is going to wait for this particular element and finally click on it. So this is, that's it. Okay, it's clicking on login button and that's it. Now, let's see it's working or not, right? So how will you run it? You simply write uh, this command, npm test, okay, hyphen, hyphen, space, hyphen, hyphen, spec, test, login, test.js, okay, the same file, and then you enter. So Chrome is getting launched, you see, enter the URL, and uh, something is not happening, so something we have done it wrong, no issues, so let it terminate. Now let's see, what is the problem? The problem is, enter username we have written, and it's simply saying that, uh, let it execute, okay, it's done. It's saying enter username is <clears throat> still not displayed. Let's see. So enter username, oops, this is a problem. We have directly written the value, the value of the ID. This is ID, and ID in CSS selector should be written with hash. So we have <clears throat> forgot to add the hash over here, right guys? So we have to write hash, hash username and hash password. Okay, and uh, for button, <clears throat> there is no, I'm directly passing the button, that is the tag. So now it should work fine. So let's run it again. Clear the console and then let's run it again. See, entering the username password and it clicked on login button <clears throat> and then perfectly fine, my login is script, right? So simple. Now you go to your login test and we have written the assertion also, whatever the value that you are passing, the same value we are getting it using the get value and comparing it. Now, what I'm gonna write that I want to clear the value. So I'll write one more it block, it. It says that, okay, it should clear the values, clear username, Okay, value. Let's see something like this. I have written comma function like that. Okay. Now I simply say that login page. So how to clear the value? So what I'm saying is, let's see. I'm writing test over here. First, whatever the value that we have already entered, I want to clear it like this. So there is no dot clear method is available. What we have to do first, you have to click on it. First, you have to click on it and then you have to clear the value. So how will you do that? Dot, okay, whatever the username field is there, dot click. First, you click on it, okay? First, you click and from the same login, from the same login page dot username dot clear value method is there. Instead of clear, we have to use clear value. Now we have to check that, okay, the value has been cleared or not. So what I'm going to do, I'll be doing, I'll write one assertion over here, right? If you write, let's see, same thing, Thomas Smith for the username field. So now this time it should be failed because after clearing the value, right, the Thomas Smith is gone. Whatever the value that we have entered, it is gone after clearing the value. And again, if you get the text once again, after clearing it, uh, get the value once again, it should be blank, but we are comparing with Thomas Smith. So it should fail. So let's see if it is getting failed or not. Okay, see, entering the username password and uh, it's saying the expect Thomas Smith to this, right? So what we have to do, we have to remove Thomas Smith from here. And then let's run it and let's see. Okay, so now this time 
got passed. So should clear the username value. Yes, it is clearing it. And then again, we are getting the value and comparing with the blank. So with assert.equal, you can use it. Chai assertion, you can use it. Okay. So like, like this, guys, we have simply written one login script like that. Simple and same thing like that. You have created one login page over here, having three <laughs> elements and having three actions over here. Simply. Okay. So that's all. And uh, I really want to show you that, okay, how exactly you are entering the value and how exactly you are clearing the value. Okay. And then how to write your simple basic assertion. So just a small video and thanks for watching guys. That's all.